Good afternoon from Karen with Two Vast Holes and Karen. I haven't given you an update in a while of uh, the homestead. Uh, it is now middle of November in northern Wisconsin. I've got a mess going over here on the table because I am cooking. I cooked up squash and um, we have this thing called Ruby's Pantry and you buy a share. Oh, excuse me and um essentially it's like a lot of this is like a food service bag um food that would you know otherwise go to waste um go to landfill and uh anyway you can buy a box and get all kinds of things and this month oh my gosh there's like 10 pounds of uh cooked uh diced red potatoes so I'm going to use some of that to make a squash soup, or in this case, a pumpkin soup. Um, this is my pumpkin that was left over from Halloween. Um, and I will be cooking it in the Instant Pot, which I absolutely love. Very useful for my tiny living. Um, I think one time earlier this year, I said I was going to be bringing in some kind of uh, thing here <laughs> to put stuff on and I have and I know that it probably drives those people who think that tiny living is all about minimalist stuff crazy um, but I don't claim to be a minimalist and um, anyway but I did get that and got some of my grocery dry grids and stuff and pans in there um, so that's great but today we are doing a soup and um, I will be sprinkling the seeds on top of that soup when we are done. Um, but to make this soup, um, and someday I'm actually going to have my tripod here and set up and I'll actually film from the beginning to the ending me actually cooking. Um, but for this, you need a half a stick of butter to saute the aromatic vegetables, which are the onion and the pepper and the carrots that I'm chopping over there. Um, and you will saute that until tender, then add the garlic, um, and then we'll be adding um, somewhere between about four to six cups, depending on how, um, I think more towards four to five cups of water to that to uh, make the stock. Um, and to that, I already have them peeled here. We will add three bullion cubes, chicken bullion cubes. If you have a can of stock, you could go ahead and do that. Um, and then I will um, add the potatoes, add the squash, and add the garlic, and let that cook. Um, and then I will be using an immersion blender and blending that all into a cream soup. You're going to add a little bit of potatoes, and that is up to you uh, in terms of the creaminess. It's probably about a... Uh, a cup of potatoes um, and then blend that all up and that will be the soup um, and I will as usual show you the final product with that. I thought I would take you outside and show you the changes. This is garlic from the garden. Just uh, the seasonal changes. Um, I'm still cleaning up the yard. It's either been raining or it was so dry and we went from too much rain to being dry so I couldn't uh, do things like burn the leaves and uh, do my usual garden uh, cleanup in the fall and as you can hear it's really windy today so that's precluding me from again burning leaves um, but I wanted to fix up this this was the flower garden area um, and I still have parsley which by the way I'm going to pick some of that and uh, also put that in my soup at the end. Um, but I can't believe it's November 15th, northern Wisconsin. We still have hot herbs in the garden. Now, <laughs> this is opening hunting weekend. And in the past, when I was a kid, there would be snow on the ground. And my dad always wanted that because he could uh, then track the deer if his shot didn't uh, bring it down in the first place. So much more, I'm still out here in just a little hoodie. Yesterday I was out here in a t-shirt. So it's just been how nice it's been. 
here's my girls. They're all grown up. You remember them from Easter. Some of them I already had, but if you remember the, there was the white one and a couple of the black ones. Isn't that one beautiful? She's so pretty. Um, and I have the one rooster, Mr. Roo. Yeah. Arr, arr, arr. You gonna crow for him? Yeah. Arr, arr, arr. Huh? He's actually a very gentle rooster. So I'm very happy to have him. Oh, and there's another one poking her head out of the door. That's the automatic door opener. Sundown closes. Sun up, it opens. I need to get some sand in here. They have really pitted this up. So that was one of my things I still got to do yet this fall, um, is bring in some sandbags. So we'll show you what the garden looks like now. It looks like back at the beginning when I first started filming and showing you in April. Um, this one I haven't cleaned up. I need to rake. I usually rake and then burn in the middle and move these um, raised beds out of the way. If you're wondering what these raised beds are, these are calf nutrition buckets that I get from a friend that raises steer and um, beef cattle. And um, anyway, they make excellent raised beds. They are food safe, plastic, so I use it. Um, some of these buckets are food safe, I don't know that all of them are, but I still grow herbs. Let's see what kind of herbs I got going here, is anything? Oh, just a little clover going. Trying to see if any of my other herbs survived here. Nice clump of dandelion greens. Oh, looks like, nope, that's just grass. I was wondering if I had any green onions. None. Yep, looks like the dill finally bit the dust. But I had dill for quite a while. Anyway, this one here, I planted my uh, garlic. So I'm hoping that uh, I have garlic in the spring. Now I'm trying to remember if it was this bucket or this bucket. I think it was this bucket. If I look real close. Yes, here's actually a, one of the little garlic seeds. So I'm going to put that one in. Cover it. Alrighty. Well, this is Karen from Two Vassals and Karen. You can see it is full-fledged on fall here. All the leaves are now gone. Well, mostly there's still some turning down in the under, uh, under the canopy, out on the ground. Still have whatever this was. I think. I know most of this in here is uh, my hazelnut bushes. This is a little oak turning. You'll hear the little tap tap tapping in the distance. That's my neighbor. She's a chainsaw carver. She's working on a project right now. I'm going to have her build me a bench for over at the tiny house. That's funny. These are tiny cabins, but there's actually a tiny house that's smaller than my cabin. Here's the here's the cabin and there's Squatch. Yeah. Did I say your name? What? Yeah? You gonna come say hi? Yeah? Yeah? He's a talker. You can talk to him and he'll talk back to you all day, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, there's the tiny house way over there. So I'm going to have her build a bench for on that path. It's really cool in the summertime. I'm not sure I filmed this because um, I got really busy this summer. But uh, I had a path put in between. And that's the well house. Um, but I want a bench along in here. So she's going to do that for me. I still have to, that's my burn burl. I have to figure out where I'm going to put that. Um, and then back behind where that framework is, that's a canopy for a, a grill. 
I'm gonna be doing a patio there with bricks um, and then I want a bench over that way so but anyway that is the little tiny house and um, the tiny house will eventually hopefully be an Airbnb so anyway there's some rest of my property over there and a nice side back view of my deck and the kitchen and this of course is the bath house or the shower house so this is the homestead in fall time and it happens to be a rather mild fall because usually we have winter by now i'm not ready the snow hasn't fallen yet might have snow next week so let's see if we do i will film it all right you all take care um and i will be back with the final products as far as the pumpkin soup goes and again this is a budget buster because i bought that pumpkin for a dollar and it was my decoration for a while for halloween and a little bit into this month i've now switched into more of the christmas mode but uh that was only a dollar and i have also made pumpkin bread out of that pumpkin the other half and now i'm making the soup and there was only one rib of celery um a quarter of a large onion that goes in there and one carrot so there you go three billion cubes of water and those potatoes, um, the share for Ruby's Pantry is like $25, but I get a ton of other stuff. And that was just one of the things that um, I got. So anyway, again, this is Karen, two vessels of Karen. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And remember, stay creative um, and uh, enjoy life. Take care. Bye.